today we are going to talk about how to rationalize the denominator of uh, a set. We actually talk about uh, monomial denominators in this case. We capture binomial denominators in the next session. You have to remember from our previous videos that if you have a square root of a by the square root of a, you're going to get a, right? And so the whole idea of rationalizing the denominator of a set is to make the denominator um, a rational number. You see that all the denominators of these numbers are irrational numbers. So the whole idea of rationalizing the denominator of a set is to make the denominator what a rational number. And the only thing you have to do is to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the rationalizing factor of the denominator. And in this case, the rationalizing factor of root 2 is what? Root 2. So we have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by what? Root 2. Or multiply a fraction by root 2 over root 2. And 3 times root 2 gives us what? 3 root 2 over root 2 times root 2 is what? 2. You have to recall this identity. So we have changed the denominator, which was an irrational number, to what? A rational number. That is the whole idea of rationalizing the denominator. We just want to make the denominator of the number what? A rational number. When you come here to the denominator, is an irrational number. It's this root 11 that makes it an irrational number. So we have to multiply both the top and the down by the rationalizing factor of root 11. In simple terms, you just have to multiply the top and the down by what? Root 11. Okay. So 5 times root 11 will give us 5 root 11 over 4 times root 11 times root 11 will give me what? 11. Actually, there's one here. Okay, there's a heading one here. So 4 times 1 will give us 4. And root 11 by root 11 will give us what? 11. Then we go ahead and multiply. We have 5 root 11 over 4 times 11 will give me what? 44. The 44 is a rational number. So we've changed the irrational number in the denominator to what? A rational number. All right. So let's look at the last one. Over here, too, we have 3 over 2 root 8. You have to change the denominator to an irrational number. You have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by what? Root 8. All right, so this is equal to 3 times root 8 will give me 3 root 8 over... There's a hidden one here, okay, as we've been doing all this. So 2 times 1 will be 2, and then root 8 times root 8 will give me what? 8. All right, and this is equal to 3 root 8 over 2 times 8 will give me what? 16, okay? All right, so we've made the denominator a rational number. But the root 8 is not uh, in the simplest form, so we can go ahead and reduce root 8. The root 8 is equal to root 4 times 2. 4 is a squared number, so root 4 is the same as what? 2. Root 2, okay? So root 8 is the same as 2 root 2. So this is going to give us 3... In place of the root 8, we put what? 2 root 2, okay? Over 16. All right. And then the 3 will multiply the 2. We are having 6 root 2 over what? 16. In fact, we can reduce the rational part further. Because um, 2 will go here 3 times, and then 2 will go here 8, okay? So we have 3 root 2 over what? 8. So uh, we have rationalized this into this form and then we have simplified it further. To the